guys, good morning, it's Kay. Welcome back to The Organized Soprano, or if you're new here, welcome. It's a vlog today because I, um, it's very dark outside since it's raining and I lack the necessary sunlight to do my video today. I do have studio lights, but they, I find they're just not as beautiful as sunlight, so I really wanted to do a good video for you guys, so instead, it's a vlog. And since it's very rainy outside, Mr. Clover and I are gonna go in the hallway to play a little hallway ball while I get some work done. Are you excited? Are you excited to play the ball in the hall? Yep, you wanna play the ball in the hall? How do you feel about that? You wanna play the ball in the hall? Oh boy! Wait, let's get a ball. Let's get a ball for you to play with in the hall. How about that? We have to get a ball that doesn't make a lot of noise because we're going in the hallway. I don't know if my neighbors are gonna like love it. Okay, this ball doesn't make a lot of noise, but it's like falling apart. Actually, maybe, can we get, I mean, all of his balls are falling apart. He like, he always takes his balls um, like in a private place, like in the bathroom, and he just peels off the felt and then he takes the squeaker out. Like he just, he kills them, right? You kill your balls. This one, no, I think. Do we want to start with the baseball one? He loves these Kong like sports balls. He's got um, he's got two more. I think I'm gonna use the old one until you know before I use the new baseball one. Let's go and see if we can find. Um, there's an eight ball one and there is a a soccer one. So let's see if we can find the others before we use the brand new one. Okay, I think he's got like way too many toys. Okay, there's some balls at the bottom. So we've got a. What used to be, well, there, it used to be like an eight ball, and then there's a soccer ball. We'll let Clover choose which ball he wants. Which one do you want? Oh, you want that one? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! Doing this together every step we take Closer to each other, so much to discover Clover's been playing for an hour, so he's all worn out. Um, and I'm gonna probably take him out to go see if he has to poop. He usually has to poop after exercising. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Target and take you guys with me for my Target run. One step is all it takes to get us moving anywhere. And now that we are on our way, I need to say what used to keep us back but just excuses made. So I was a rookie YouTuber, my camera ran out of batteries while I was at Target, so I didn't get to film much in Target, but you, you know what Target looks like. All right, Target haul right now. Okay, I got a million paper towels. Actually, I only got eight, but this is as many as we can store. So I only bought the eight pack, and that is as many as I'm allowed to buy. Husband was not with me, so we had some sense of control, right, Clover? Yes. All right, here is my other bag. So I'll show you what's in here. Got some Charmin Ultra Soft. You know this is like the best toilet paper in the world. So we will put that away, just four rolls today. Um, got some 
puppy wipes since uh, Clover has an appointment at the groomer next week, so he's gonna get a bath. But I don't, I don't want to give him a bath. But he's kind of a little bit smelly. So I'm gonna just give him a rub down and um, see if this will last me until it's time for his bath bath. Also got some shower gel. I was in the mood to get um, one of those Dove shower dolls, but then I saw this was on clearance for 10 bucks. I don't know how much it was originally, let's see. So originally it was $20 and now it was $10 and it's soap and glory and I love me some soap and glory. So it comes with two shower washes, the Fomus, Rich and Fomus and the Smoothie Star. I've never used the Smoothie Star. I'm very excited. Let's open it, shall we? No, you're being a very good helper. You're very much helping. Thank you. Hi. Yes, I love you too. Yes, thank you. Oh, it comes with a poof too. I didn't know. What a bonus, because I was just about to replace my poof. So it comes with a little poof. Oh, that is so cute and perfect. Okay, okay, seriously? Look at that, it says Soap and Glory on the little handle. So I'm gonna be looking forward to using that. Super cute. And two really good, Clover, no, here. And two really good sizes. We got the Rich and Fomus, <laughs> and we've got the Smoothie Star. So I'm actually super happy with this. It's on clearance target for 10 bucks. Awesome, what a deal. And it does come with a little cute container. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Although I don't know if I like the outside. Oh my gosh. You know, Clover is just too too curious, too curious. Anyway, we'll find, a, we'll find a use for it. But anyway, very, very happy with this find. Super happy. Oh, hey, this is lotion, the Smoothie Star. So let's, let's try out some of it and see. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like cookies and like almonds and mmm, it smells good. Clover's over here licking his lips. <laughs> okay. And next we got very exciting toothpaste, a two pack. You know, it's exciting. Uh, I got some new foundation. I'm not really, I haven't tried this Maybelline Fit and Pore, Matte and Poreless. Hello. Hello. I haven't tried this foundation before, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, it was only like six dollars, so we'll see if it's worth it. I I have been using this like Laura Mercier powder foundation, which looks really good, but it's it doesn't last long and um, it's expensive. So we're gonna try the Maybelline. I got a replacement of my good old reliable L'Oreal lacquer uh, liner in a pot. This stuff is awesome. I had some and I almost used it up, but then it expired. So I got a brand new package. This is the best. And lastly, I have been out of my like little eyebrow shapers. These little guys, they're like little razor blades for your eyebrows. Um, I have not paid much attention to my eyebrows at all over the past few months. And I feel really bad about it. So I bought these because I had used all of mine up. I had bought these before, but I just used them all. So I have a brand new pack from Ardell. They work really well, you just gotta be careful. Um, cause you know, you just gotta be careful. And I'm gonna put the items away and I thought I'd give you guys a real time update, a real update about how previous spaces I've organized have been doing and been working for me. I think I'm gonna do this like as a series. Um, so this will be the first one. It's really random. It's gonna be fun anyway. So the coat closet was the main, my main big problem. Um, I think I did four videos on it. I organized it three or four times. It was a real huge problem for me. But the last time I organized it, um, I will link a video up below, up above if you haven't seen it. The last time I organized it was probably the best time and it's been really working for me great. So I'll show you right now. Here is the hallway closet and it still looks very much the same. We still got the clove beans uh, drawer on the bottom. This towel looks crazy, but it just has all of his like stuff that we use for him every day. Um, the drawers still look mostly the same, and uh, that stuff is there. I actually moved the uh, the ball throwing device to down here, and that way, you know, because I just have to grab it and. I don't have to like reach inside and grab something and his little wolf box is there. I just, I like that there. The cleaning stuff is on the side. I actually hung the mop from the bracket hook there and it works great. Boom. That's my uh, O-Cedar mop that I use sometimes. And these guys are still on the side. They work, they work fabulously there. That's Clover's check it for when he goes to the dog park. 
and um, that stuff is still going right up there. So I moved the um, winter winter box up there and this is like the other people box up there and the bags, oops, the little light came on and the bags are living up there. So that is the space for the paper towels which I'm gonna unpack and put away right now. <laughs> up there but I've got one over here ready to go and two under the sink you don't want to look at them look look how badly this is terrible but uh you know they'll get used up I don't actually mind the mega rolls they'll last longer so as long as we get to like two of those rolls very soon this will be just fine so anyway the coat closet has been working really well for the both of us you can see there we've got the alpha on the side and the alpha on the inside and it works really well for us. Still nothing on the floor except for my boots and some distilled water which I use for my neti pot and stuff like that. So I'm happy with this. The bathroom cabinet update, the last one I did was kind of controversial. I got some comments that said, oh, they didn't like it. They liked the other one, the other method better. But you know what, truth be told, we have been using this for the past, I guess, few months or however long. And yeah, as you can see, it still looks pretty much the same and it's worked really well for us. I like that I can see everything. I like that I can just pull out this bin full of like my hair things and I don't have to like, it's, it doesn't get super messy because it's not a drawer. The drawer was like too, it was too closed in for me. So this, this has been working and I like the space on the side to put, I put cleaners and like extra products and uh, Listerine. So we got the toilet cleaner, we got some spray back there. So if I need to spray anything in here, um, I can just grab that instead of going to the kitchen. And I also put a command hook here where I hang a microfiber cloth. I used the one that I used to clean up this morning, but I usually hang it here and I'll clean, you know, the sink area and stuff um, in the morning if it gets really crazy. And sometimes I'll clean the shower glass as well. So. That, this has been working very well for me. I'm, I'm very pleased. You know who's here, you know who's here now, right? Hello. So I'm gonna put one toothpaste up on the sink cross and the other toothpaste. Um, usually, like the extra, actually I'm gonna maybe save the box here for no apparent reason. I just, it, it just sort of goes right there, there. It looks neat there. And if you haven't seen any of my videos before and you're wondering where the, the toilet paper is gonna go, it's going to go in this cabinet and it's gonna go on that bottom shelf. I do have to straighten some of that business out before I put the excess toilet paper there, um, but it normally fits in there. I just like to tighten up how these are rolled a little bit. Sometimes they can get a little bit um, crazy if I've been kind of sloppy about how I'm putting these in here. Um, but we don't have a linen closet in our apartment. So this has become the makeshift linen closet for towels. And as you can see, we don't have that many towels. We have a total of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, I counted towels that are hanging for the two of us. Six total towels. Um, and between the two of us, that's that's more than enough towels. You know, I mean, if, if we've gotten into a bind where we needed a towel, we can, uh, you know, easily get at a towel. but. Having more than six towels, I found was was like really too many towels. So um, towels are one of those things you can have way too many of, and you don't know why. Um, I think I know I have too many like tea towels and stuff, um, but you know we're working on on downsizing. This is the extra um, hand towel for the bathroom. It's cute. Look at it. It's like a little little turquoise, um, or I guess a little sea foam stitching at the bottom there. Um, it's from anthropology, like I got a long time ago. Um, I don't use it very often because it's not as like absorbent and soft as the one I have hanging right now, but it's a backup while that one is being cleaned, so I'll stick it way back there. This little extra guy back there as well. And this little bin is where I put extra toilet paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the packaging because that's how I roll. We got one more 
of these rolls right here. So I'm gonna put these on the bottom. These are also like mega rolls, so we will be oh, fall down. <laughs> And I could have bought more and stacked them up a little higher, but you know, that's fine. There. There's our little toilet paper stash. And the rest of this cabinet is um, my husband and I's like extra, you know, body products and things like that. And for those of you who saw my beauty cabinet sort of clean out, uh, here's an update on how it's really doing. So as you can see, it's pretty, it's still doing pretty fine. Like I still have my little hair product uh, container here with all my stuff in it. Uh, I have uh, used several <laughs> several things and edited this a little bit, but it still works great. I take it out when I wash my hair. Um, my body products are here. I keep them here during the side a little bit, except when I am on my period because here are all my sanitary products. Um, I got a little drawer for the tampons, a little drawer for the panty liners, and a little drawer for the pads. Sorry if that's TMI for some of the gentlemen out there, but I mean, this is life, okay? So if you haven't seen it, we need to talk. Um, just have some lotions and medications for my psoriasis. I got uh, my uh, jewelry cleaner here that I got as a point perk from Container Store, um, but I've been using it for the past year. It's been really great. And as you can see, this beauty cabinet still looks pretty good, pretty good. Just got my little cotton pads there, my micellar water here, and all of my little face products are here, my masks and everything. I put a little coupon right up here so that I could see next time I buy Eucerin, which is that. I could just grab this coupon if I'm running out um, so I can save a little bit of money. And my jewelry is here in this little cute tray so it doesn't fall out. So this, this has been working very well for me for the past eight months or so, or however long it was since I don't remember when I uploaded that video of me like decluttering this and organizing this, but it works really well. I don't do my masks as much as I should because my skin is going through it. I'm going to tell you guys, my skin is going through it. I don't know if it's part of aging or whatever, but like I need to get on the mask game. My mask game is weak. Um, oh, an update on this. I know some of you wanted to hear how this was, this um, L'Oreal Age Perfect Day Cream. It's pretty good. It's a little heavy for like hotter days. Like if, if my skin is oily, I can't wear this, but if my skin is dry, it's great. And it doesn't leave my skin ashy like some other SPF lotions. So definitely highly recommend this. Get it from the drugstore. Don't have to go to Sephora or anything. So I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm a girl that goes both to the drugstore and to Sephora. I mean, like this was like 12 bucks. And this is like 55 bucks, but this, this stuff's legit. This is legit. I definitely notice when I haven't used this for a while, my skin is not as beautiful and nice and supple. So this is a great retinol oil. If you're looking for one, highly recommend, highly recommend. Okay, I hope that wasn't too boring. Um, I'm gonna do real space updates for the spaces I have updated or organized in the past. Question of the day, if you have watched any of those videos, what is the next space you want to see? Actually, I'm going to pin a comment to this video and uh, like the space you want to see next that I've organized in a previous video. Um, and I'll put a playlist of all of my organized with me weird spaces, they're mostly like inside spaces, um, down below so that you can watch them and check them out and see which one you want to see an update on first. All right, you guys, if you like content like this, please subscribe. If you, I should have said that in the beginning. Anyway, I like this video if you like it and I will see you in the next video. Stay neat, it's back. Stay neat, bye.